Welcome, this is my new guide to the installation of Equivalent Exchange 3, the new mod by Pahamar. So I'll just jump right into this. Uh, you're going to want to go down to Downloads, see where it says Requirements, Forge. Just click on this, I open it in a new tab. And the Universal Download, which is the download of Equivalent Exchange 3. So once you've got these both downloaded, or once you've got these both open, you have to grab at least this one or higher. I always go for the highest one, of course, I don't know why you wouldn't. But there it is. I'm just going to skip the ad here, keep, and now I'll keep that. Okay, now if you're in Chrome, you'll be able to just go show in folder. If not, you're going to want to go to your downloads, and these will be here. So I'm just going to close this down, bring it all back to my desktop. And you'll see you'll have E3 Universal Pre 1, drag that onto your desktop, and Minecraft Forge Universal, which I actually already have sitting here by fluke. So now you're going to want, I just named this Equivalent Exchange 3, just for a little bit of simplicity. Now you're going to want to go to, oops, now you're going to want to go to your Minecraft launcher, options, force update. This will delete all your mods, not your saves though. And I'll just pause while this is running. Alright, now we have something that looks like this. Make sure it says 1.4.2. I have no idea why it wouldn't. But if it doesn't, then this won't work. Eh, go away. Okay, now you're going to want to go into your roaming folder. I keep a shortcut to it on my desktop because it's a pain in the ass to get to. But if you don't know how to do this, just go percent app data, percent, exactly as I've written, and press enter. You'll see this folder. Go into dot minecraft and bin. You want to take your Minecraft bin or your Minecraft jar and open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or anything you have that can open these files. Go down and delete MetaInf. I don't know if you if you actually have to do that, but I know that you always want to delete MetaInf, at least from the jar. Now you want to go to Forge. Oops. There it is. You want to go to Forge. Grab everything. Drop it straight into the Minecraft jar. Now you can close down Forge, close down your Minecraft jar, go back here, make a new folder. Mods exactly as I've typed it, or it won't work quite right. And then you want to drag Equivalent Exchange 3 in, drop it in there. You can close that down, open Minecraft and log in. It'll do that little thing. Alright, now you have something that looks like this. You'll see this in the corner. This shows you that Forge has worked. As for showing you that Equivalent Exchange has worked, I'm going to make a new world on Creative. That'll take a second to make. Now you see I'm here, I'm in Creative mode. If you look here, you've got all your normal tabs, but if you scroll over here, you'll have the Equivalent Exchange 3 tab, which will have these things. So, thanks for watching. That's all there is to Equivalent Exchange. Go out there and cause some trouble.